Furious Ackland Street traders have vented their anger ahead of imminent work to build a, a tram super stop in the famous cafe strip. The protesters claim getting rid of on-street car parking will kill off business. More from Dougal Beatty. Blocking the path of a tram. No super stop. No super stop. Traders up in arms over plans to build a giant tram super stop in the middle of Ackland Street. No through traffic, no on street parking, killing the vibe of a village that's been here for almost 100 years. The road between Barclay and Belford Streets will be blocked to vehicles and turned into a pedestrian mall. Work set to get underway next week. We think it's just a mistake. A really bad mistake. Some traders and residents alike took to the street today, saying the tram stop will kill off business. Save Ackland Street. If you can't have access to a local sh um, shopping strip, people don't come. But if we can't get in, where are we going to park? Others claim PTV and the government aren't taking on traders' concerns. They could move the tram stop 100 metres down the road and nothing would need to change. Daniel Andrews has refused to listen to them and he could easily do it and everyone is satisfied but he has refused because he's been bloody minded about it. The Premier says tough calls need to be made. Now, sometimes people will be supportive of the decisions we make, the judgments we make, sometimes they won't. But the most important thing is to be respectful, but then get on and get it done. And the Mayor is confident trams will instead bring in more visitors to the Strip to bolster business. One car space probably has a potential to deliver 10 people per day to Ackland Street, whereas the tram will deliver 30,000 people per week. The work will be completed by mid-November. Dougal Beatty, Nine News.